Good day, folks. Ryan here as my guest. We're gonna be talking about Old Tub. It's my understanding that they distilled this in a tub, in a rusty tub, and there was people around. And it was a tub that they bathed in. Did I hit on any of those points? Did I get anything right? I had to get a little bit. The tub's in the name. Got nothing right. I don't know what I'm talking about, apparently. Welcome back, guys, to the Pot Still Life. I'm Ryan. I'm AJ. Hey. He's doing? AJ. Hey, we're going to get into Old Tub Bottle and Bond, give you our thoughts on it. AJ, you're back for another torture test. Yes. Yes. Well, apparently. <laughs> so, we're going to try do. Old Tub, and no, it doesn't taste like Old Tub water. Well, it doesn't to me, at least. Okay. Okay. So it might to me. It might subjective. to you. It might. It's subjective. I have had this before, so it's not a first impression for me. What? I've already went through a bottle of this, like the no. first bottle, and I did share it with some people. It wasn't all me, but we we knocked this bottle down pretty quickly. Okay. As so I it recall, should be good. I haven't had it in six to eight months. Maybe my memory is, you know, rose-colored glasses and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Coming in from Jim Beam Distillery. What's kind of cool is this is a limited release. Jim Beam, actually, the Beam family used to make Old Tub whiskey prior to their Jim Beam even being a brand. So this was pre-prohibition. This was the kind of the first brand that they were making. And then Jim Beam came about later. This kind of harkens back to it for a lot of years, my understanding is, this was actually available only in the gift shop at the Jim Beam Distillery. And then the year or so ago, they started doing a limited release and pushing it out to, uh, to liquor stores nationwide. Since then, it's become a little bit hard to find. It's kind of allocated now. So when you run across it, you may see it here and there. And price point should be somewhere in the $20 to $25 a bottle range for it. Let's just go ahead and pop this sucker open. Oh, that's got a decent little core prop for being uh, open before. Now, that's a good part. Right. Oh, of course. It was, it, was, it was like real lint, like a linear flow. Yeah. Jump into the nose on this just a little bit. So it's non chill filter. Do you know what chill filtering does? Nope. So chill filtering basically pulls <laughs> out. <laughs> that was the no. quickest of no's. Nope. No. Nope. Nope. So chill filtering pulls out some of the some of the oils for lack of a better term out of the the whiskey first uh, a lot of people say it gives a smoother whiskey and then yep. a lot of people say the the chill filtering takes away some of the mouth feel some of the flavor yeah so a lot of bourbons now are going non-chill filtered to get you uh just a, a more complex flavor it has a rather strange smell yeah there's a lot going <laughs> there's on there's a lot there. going on that now this is a th this was before jim bean but to me this is Jim Bean on the nose. Dial it up about a hundred, and this is an old tub because this has got some notes in it that proof. are reminiscent of. So yeah, this is a, a it's a bottle and bond product coming in at hundred proof. Some notes that are that I pick up in other Jim Bean products, but yeah. this is like there's one particular note that knocked you're that getting, up. You're getting in there. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go in too far if you're not ready for it. Can we do phrasing? <laughs> <laughs> Get, in Get in there deep. Phrasing back. Get in there deep. I'm doing, but it burns. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Penicillin. I'm allergic to penicillin. So I'm screwed. Do you at need that a point. shot of penicillin? <laughs> I'm allergic. I, I die. That's rough on the nose could, for me. Can Can you identify what that note is? Do you uh, burning? Burn. <laughs> yeah. I can't. Sm it, it, cause there's so much going on in there. Yeah. So I pick up like caramel, toffee, but then I'm getting peanut. See, I'm picking up the sweet, but then there's like 15 other things mm -hmm. fighting for for its right to be yeah. smelled. There's a ton going on in that, That's but crazy. there's it's gonna be an interesting taste. Yes, it's a very distinct peanut note on peanuts. Peanuts. Cashew so peanuts? think peanuts? of uh, Texas Roadhouse floor. Yeah, the floor. floor. <laughs> think about that smell of that that peanut shell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, too deep. See, I went too deep. I'm just ready to. All right, let's try it. Put this in the old mouth. Cheers. Cheers. Whoa. That's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. It's totally different than I think anything else you've tried with me. It's actually not bad. No. But it's just, God, it's just hard to tell what's punching my <laughs> tongue right now. And, and you're right, like, it's. It's not as oily, so it's not sitting there for a long time. Yep. I mean, it's nice. It's nice. It's not $60, $70 a bottle of bourbon, yep. but it's not a $15 Jim Beam product either. Yeah. You know, I mean, this is this is a solid 
Yeah. Solid bourbon. Solid. Yeah. As I dive back in there, I'm getting the vanilla right up front. The peanut note hits me. Kind of goes into a little bit of an oak. I'm getting none of that. No. <laughs> you have a talented tongue. Mm. You can taste things that others That's, can't. I'm going to keep it clean. I'm going to keep it, keep it clean on that it's one. It's a family show. It's yeah. a family show. Yeah. Family show about alcohol. About, yeah. <laughs> If you have any kids watching, yeah. <laughs> just know that we're, we're just clean. Yeah. <laughs> so to me, what I get on this all the time is, is the peanut, the vanilla, and then the more I go back to it, yeah. all those meld together, and I get this peanut brittle note, this toffee, melted sugar, peanutty, buttery note of the peanut brittle. I can maybe maybe tell the, the peanut brittle but that's that's about it and that's me really trying the this the disclaimer as always is give me time yeah. I'll, I'll i'll figure it out but as of right now no, no. that's that is this is it would it be fair to say this is more um in line with someone with uh, somewhat of an expert tongue yes and no yeah i mean Probably uh, someone who is more experienced in bourbon is definitely going to pick out some of these notes, maybe a little bit uh, easier to pick out, pick it apart a little bit more. Yeah. You can tell it's different than some of the more standard bourbons that you would try, or, or the Jim Beams, the Evan Williams, Black Label. Some of those just standard ones out there that are kind of light and brittle. Okay. This has got just more interest, more flavors going on to it. Yeah. You may not be able to, a new person to it may not be able to identify some of the these specifically, but it's still just a solid hitter. And at 20 to 25 bucks, this is one I grab every time. Still not bad. Yeah. Now bad. this is not your, I'll say this right off the bat. If you want dark, sweet, uh, brown sugar, vanilla, cherry, this is not your bottle. Yeah. That is not, this is nowhere close to a Woodford Reserve. Yes. Or uh, an Old Forester <sighs> 86. So or a, yeah. This is, this is not in the same ballpark. This is going on the opposite, other side of the spectrum. It's getting a little bit dry, a little bit more savory notes. Yeah. To it. You know what is better than that Russell's that we tried? <laughs> yeah, um, well, I, for you it is. For yes. Me it is, yeah. <laughs> for me it is. You're, hey, you're not gagging on this one. I'm not gagging on it. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me serve this up. <laughs> Like I've done a blind, a multiple blind test on this before, and I, as soon as I tasted it, I knew old tub. That just that peanut note, just straightforward. That's that's what my whole palate is yeah. taken up with that peanut note. I think so, I could pick this out of a lineup. It, yeah. It's definitely, it's different than anything else out there. I really enjoy it, but you definitely gotta be looking for a different experience than that brown sugar, dark, rich caramel, cherry notes. This is kind of taking it in a different direction. To me, it's still a go-getter. You see it on the shelf, I would give it a shot. If you're looking for something a little bit different to explore, definitely pick up an old tub. I think you're probably gonna enjoy it. Till next time, enjoy, be safe. Cheers. Cheers.